Good shape. Where'd they go, man? D Mark got that he on. Reload on the brick of your I think my biggest fear is not is not losing in the fact that it's disappointing people. You know what I mean? Even if I take hard shots or break limbs or break my bones or whatnot, I don't mind that as long as I don't take the L, you know what I mean? So I went and changed my circumstances. Sabir, as a person is very calm, relaxed. You know, you never see him overhyped or angst up, you know, it takes it all in his stride. This is fine again, what is it now, March the nineteenth? On the fight side, I know he's going to do well. You know, he's been putting a lot of hard work, so he's going to show on the 19th. You know, all that work that he's been putting in. Well, flying O2 Arena was for me was the obviously the highlight of my career so far. You know, I've been being the first Somali at the O2. I feel like that's that's historic in my eyes. No one has done that before. You know what I mean? So. And, to, and not only just to fight at O2, under the big lights, I fought among legends. Like, you know what I mean? So superstars saw me and they, and they gave me uh, compliments for my work. And for me, like, that was the first time I'm around greats, like greatness. It was, it was strange and it's quick. I, I, I haven't finished the fight that early before. It was, it was the first, first uh, experience where I finished the fight without sweating. Your judges in the body, the red corner seven, Probably what makes us different to any other athletes is probably the expectation from my family. Everyone expects us to be engineers and doctors and whatnot, and they haven't they haven't ever seen the avenue in sports before. Don't let the the like the comments from your parents and from your from your aunties and family above you. I think the only advice I can give them is to to put that all aside and block them all out and just keep being consistent. I think that's the really that's the advice I probably give to young people, especially in the Somali community. I was in the phone with ranks in the middle like Roddy Never took nothing on Connie Pay cost price with cash on demand I do the shit properly what could I say to, to the Somali athletes? Well, to, to look up and see Sabir, and I know Sabir's good friend Mahudin. These are guys that have come up and you know they, they've pushed themselves and I've seen both of them come up through the ranks and now they're top level fighters. So for any of them out there to find, then it's not only, it might not even be martial arts, but whatever they love, to push it through. Find something that they love doing, because that's how they, they, they're going to progress and become the best that they can be doing it. So then once you find what you love, it doesn't matter on your size, your build, you know, where you come from, nothing. Once you do what you love doing, you'll be able to do it better than anyone. Uh, so everyone coming down, you know, I want you guys to bring your flags. I want to make sure that when I look at the crowd, I want to see a sea of blue flags. I want to see not just my flag hanging around, I want to see everybody everybody covered in blue. Especially when, they, when my opponent walks out, he's going to think we're in Somalia. You know what I mean? A chance. I want to hear chants. I want to hear my name ringing. I want to hear Muadin's name ringing. I want to hear Imran's name ringing. I want to make sure that in that in that space alone, no one's going to feel comfortable other than if you're Somali. You know what I mean? So let's let's make it hectic, man. Like how Colin did in Dublin, you got to do it here in London. I don't know why you're here for me soon enough, you know. I, you're here for me soon. I, I'm, not, I'm not in the business of calling things out. But I'm, I'm in the business of uh, getting KOs and getting up the ranking. So okay, he will hear from me soon, soon enough. So after I, I get dust this guy, I'm looking to fight for the for the flyweight title for Fight Star. And once I get the fight flyweight title, then we can uh, go for the pro rankings and see what they got for me down there. Inshallah.